it is a daily vlog. Today is Monday, which is my favorite day of the week. I don't know why. I love Mondays because you just start over, refresh, do it over. New week, new goals. I don't know. I just love Mondays. Those are like my favorite times of the week. Macy goes back to school. I get all of my errands and stuff done, ready to go on my to-do list. So yeah, I don't know. I just love Mondays, but it is currently 10 8. You guys saw me just spruce up the house, clean Macy's room, um, open the blinds up, just kind of put the dishes in the sink. I mean, put the dishes in the dishwasher if there were any left over overnight. Just stuff like that, like do light cleaning. That's also part of like my Monday routine. You guys saw me do that a little bit, but I also want to tell you guys about public goods you guys know i've teamed up with them already public goods reached out to me to ask me if i wanted to do their swap challenge which i was so down for because honestly guys i have been running out of their products the first products that i received were the surface cleaner the bathroom cleaner and the straws and i've been using those like I've been using those like crazy. We don't use plastic straws at all. I haven't even used like my metal straws like that. I find that the metal straws carry a lot of like gunk and stuff. Um, if you don't have like a one of those straw pipe cleaners. I don't know, I just kind of strayed away from the metal straws as well, but I've been using all their products and I absolutely love their products. Like I'm not even just like saying that because they are sponsoring me. I love their products. So I decided to do a swap challenge, which basically I am swapping out some of my everyday goods that I use as far as like household items. It could be trash bags, water bottles, soap, washcloths, whatever. So I picked two products and the first product I decided to get it is a BPA free reusable vacuum bottle. It's also made out of high grade steel. You can swap out this water bottle for to go cups, single use, hot coffee or chilled wine. So this actually keeps your drinks cold or hot for a good amount of time. And I love the aesthetic of the bottle. You guys know it's white, it's nice matte and white and it has like a gray writing with the silver cap. I just think it looks so cute. If you guys want to join me on the challenge, then you just enter my code. I'll put it right here on the screen. It is Brittany Jackson PGA. And I also have my direct link so you can shop with them below. So make sure you read the description box because the information will all be in there. And yeah, thank you so much Public Goods for sponsoring this portion of the video. So for today, I have planned, today and tomorrow, I have some school stuff planned because we are leaving out of town at the end of this week and I wanna make sure that I have the school stuff situated so that when I come back, because when I come back, it'll be the week of like the 20th and that'll give it like maybe two weeks before school starts and I don't wanna wait that long to do like the school shopping and stuff like that. So I figured I wanna handle it now before we leave out of town because otherwise I would just do it the end of this weekend or whatever, but since we're gonna be gone, um, I'm gonna just handle it now. And then when I come, that way when I come back from our vacation, I'll start to do like the actual clothes and school shopping. So I don't want to do it all at the same time. That's too much. But anyways, I'm about to eat my breakfast and get ready for the day. And I'll come back on here once we're out and about. Okay guys, um, it is about two o'clock. I'm about to head out to get um, the school supplies. I contacted the, well, I, con I contacted the doctor's office and they said that they will send the medical records over, but um, it may be later on in the day. So I just figured I'll just go to the store um, now for the school supplies instead of waiting for the actual records so that I can go to the school and register them. The kids' school takes registration Tuesdays and Thursdays for this month. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go tomorrow and register them rather than today because today's the day they can't get registered, tomorrow is. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, I have my cup because I don't know, I'm about to go to Starbucks um, for a um, strawberry acai lemonade and I wanna use my cup for it. So that's why I got it. But yeah guys, we're gonna go to the stores really quickly so that I can get their supplies and that'll be it for today, I'm guessing. So let's go. 
This is the sixth grade school supply list that we're looking at, so I'm gonna go get those items. And then I have the cup, which this fits a full venti. Anyone wanting to know, this cup will fit a full venti size because it's all the way at the top. This already parents shopping, guys. Back to school, I told you. I just need to get what I need to get. Only thing is, I need two of everything because the kids. You know, it's two girls going into middle school. Several packages of lined notebook paper. 99 cents. I'm gonna get three, three, so three a piece. Three a piece. Four of these. Let me see. Yeah, I'm just gonna get four of them. Oh, these are so cute. Mm -hmm. 99 cents as well. Black and two of each. So, blue and black pens, 99 cents each. I'm gonna buy them some index cards because I know they're gonna need some. I'm gonna get them some erasers as well. I always get them like extra stuff on the side because I know they like to use it. I need some back to school comics in my book, so. Four. Sorry. Got this cute pink stapler. They need tape. I'm just trying to think ahead for like projects and stuff like that. They're gonna need some tape. So I guess I'll just get this. Lanyard's only a dollar. Cute these for your time. These are cute. I need Two of these letter index divisor pockets. I need two of these. One right here. Letter. An eight pack dividers. These are $16.99. They look cool though. Hey guys, I'm checking in like a few minutes later, but this is what I'm working with, I got these sketchbooks because um, the kids like to draw. I got two of these with some colored pencils. Also, Moda, or Mondo, it's a Moda, Mondo, 50 cents. So that's cheaper than Crayola, so definitely will go with these instead of Crayola. But I have pretty much everything. You guys, it was getting hectic back there. Like, there's so many people back there um going school shopping i'm just like dang i thought i was coming on a good day where no one noticed no honey it's like a whole bunch of people back there oh look they got all the snacks you guys look they got all the snacks they know what they're doing they're putting out all the after school snacks as well let me know if you guys want me to do a grocery haul for back to school because the kids don't eat school lunch they make their own so let me know um, if you guys want me to see that soon, because I will be going shopping for that too, getting food for them so that they can make their own lunch. Because they've been doing that since forever. I should get glue and glue sticks just in case. So I'll just get the 50 cent um, or glue just because it's easy for them to use. Do they, just, they definitely need scissors. I'm, they're always losing scissors. They definitely need scissors at home. It's raining, so I might as well just take my time now. 229. Let me get the scissors. <laughs> I'm just gonna get one pack though. One pack is good enough. Hot letters. <sighs> How much I spent? I'm pro probably close to, I'm gonna say three. If I go below that, then I'm happy. 
Okay, so I'm about to go. My camera's about to die, or it's getting low in battery. So I'm about to just head on home, and I'll give you guys a haul of everything that I got. Back. All right, guys, I'm back home. I ate, and I'm about to go pick up Macy, but I wanted to do this haul real quickly before I go out and do that. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. All right, most of these items I purchased more than once because you guys know we went shopping for both girls. So more, so a couple of these things are here twice. Um, so just keep in mind that everything I show you guys, it was times two. And there are also certain things that weren't on the list, but I figured they would need it for school, so I got it anyway. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Okay. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just gonna show you guys stuff. So I got these pencil binder holders. Um, they're binder zipper case. They look like this. It's like this purple plastic one that has like these, I don't know, these type of patterns on it. I can't even, I don't even know what kind of pattern this is, but it's cute. I thought it was cute, it's purple. I got the other one, which is like holographic and glittery. So I thought this was really cute to add to their, um, you know, collection of school items. This was on their list. They asked for two um, ounces of hand sanitizer. So I got these. I had to get some letter index dividers. So I had to get some dividers. This was, this is an eight pack by the Up and Up brand. So I ended up getting two of these because they needed some, they said a pack of dividers, so I got that. I also got these number two sharpened pencils. You guys saw, I think, that they had the unsharpened one. I just went ahead and got the sharpened one. These were the same price, I believe, so I got a bunch of boxes of these. And I was told to get marbled composition notebooks, so I ended up getting, I ended up getting these ones from Target. I got eight in total because four each, so I got these. Some dry erasers. I actually got three packs of these because one was for the teachers, and then one was for, and then the girls got one each, so I ended up getting three. They also asked us to get one inch to two inch three ring binders, and this one, is one and a half inch so i just got this um i got two of them one a piece so yeah i got these this one is like pinkish red it's not really red and then i got a purple one i, think I showed you this but i got this stapler which i thought was really cute it's just a pink pastel stapler um they need a stapler so i just got that i got a couple of these index cards you can't go wrong with index cards kids always need index cards to study or to write stuff down so i got a couple packs of these okay so i got a ton of these um these were 50 cents i believe i think i picked up the crayola ones that were 99 cents but i put those back because i actually found these mondo ones these are 50 cent colored pencils and they have a lot of color range on them as you can see i got four packs of these and then i got a case of markers these are actually macy's and then these are for the kids they each got two a piece and then i just ended up getting a pack of um thicker markers like the classic broader tip ones i just got a pack of those i believe these were also like 50 cents um the mondo brand the mondo llama they're way cheaper than like anything else there so i just ended up getting that oh my gosh and then i had to get notebook paper they said uh several packs of notebook paper they didn't specify exactly how much so i just got three a piece so i ended up getting this from target and then I got some Elmore school glue. You can't go wrong with school glue. Um, this was not on the list, but when they asked for projects and stuff like that, what do you think we're gonna use to stick it together? <laughs> so I got glue. I got some highlighters. Again, this wasn't on the list, but the kids are gonna need highlighters when they're studying or highlighting something off their books or something. So I got some highlighter. I got two packs of these erasers. Here it goes, I couldn't find the other one. I got two packs of erasers. Um, for some reason when you have the pencils the erasers always like go down to like the bare metal part so i got these to go on top of the actual pencil i know some schools say get the pink eraser but to me i feel like that's a waste because they're gonna lose that too at least this goes right on top of the pencil so you can kind of keep track of it so i got two boxes of these 
some scissors always always need scissors i'm tired of using my kitchen scissors got them their own scissors so got these okay let me hurry up because my camera's about to die but i ended up we're at the end anyway but well kind of anyways i got a couple of pen pens black and blue pens this was on the list and these were 99 cents a piece so i got the black and blue ones just a bit um round stick is it ballpoint no just ball pens yeah ball pens that's what i got so two each got some tape um invisible tape gonna need this i don't know when or for what day but i'm pretty sure the kids are gonna need some tape so i got them some tape also got them some pencil sharpeners even though the pencils that i purchased are already sharpened i still got some sharpeners just in case you guys know those sharpened pencils don't last forever so got some pencil sharpeners i also purchased some lanyards these were a dollar a piece they're kind of tangled but i got some lanyards for them um just in case they have an id or something like that and then i got these kind of expensive thermostats but i think they're worth it they're black and white thermostats you guys know about the aesthetic and they're from the brand thermos i think but yeah, they're just for school. And I got the backpack, I mean the lunch bags as well. The kids picked these out. Um, like I said, they're not too, too girly, like black, white, gray, or colors, um, or blue, or purple. But I can't get away with pink, y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the actual lunch bags and the thermosaps that I purchased. Um, they should be able to fit. They fit right into the lunch bag, which is cool. So, like I said, they make their own lunches for school most of the time. Like, they always make their lunches for school. So, this is what they'll be carrying in their book bags, which, like I said, their book bags are going to be ordered because they're not book bags I can get from the store. So, yeah, I got those. Like I said, you guys, there was a lot of people in there. Oh, it's cool, though. As you guys can see, it already has a hard case in there, which is so cool. So you do not have to purchase a divider. Does this come out? Oh, it comes out. Wow. I love this. Okay, now I can see why it's $14.99. So it's empty, but you can it comes with its own divider, which is so cool. I don't have to buy one. Yay. And yeah, that's that. That's cool. Now I'm excited. Now I don't feel bad spending that much money on it. The last thing I got are these good old glue sticks, the purple kind. These were like 50 cents, um, two pack. Didn't need to buy another pack because there's already two in here. So they're going to split that. And yeah, I'm glad I got that. And for the teacher's list, it was very small. So I was appreciative of that because it was very small. So yeah. Um, they asked for some paper towels, which I got here, and then they asked for two boxes of tissue paper. I got a four pack because, like I said, each each of our daughter's teachers need tissue boxes. So two for one kid and two for the other kid's teacher. So got that. They asked for uh, dry erasers, which I got. I got all black ones or. I don't know, I could swap it out for the colored ones or whatever if they need it. And then I asked for a tub of disinfectant wipes. So this is for the teachers. That's all they asked for. And yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm about to actually put all this stuff away. Hopefully I was focused this whole time. But I'm actually about to put all this stuff away. And I'm about to go get Macy because it's that time. And yeah, I'll see you guys after. Okay, guys, it's the next day. I have one eyebrow done because... <laughs> My pencil broke and ran out, so now I only have one eyebrow. But um, it's the next day, it's Tuesday. It is July, where's my phone? July 13th. And I am about to go run to the kids' elementary school to pick up their school records because I didn't get to do that yesterday. And try to register them for school today. And then what else? I think I have a couple errands, but mainly I am just handling the school stuff. I'm pretty much done school shopping, so I'm glad I don't have to worry about the actual, like, 
supplies for the school. I just have to come back and get clothes and sneakers and stuff, but I'll put a limit on that stuff, y'all. I'm not going crazy. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and head to the school and then we're gonna go try to register the kids. So yeah. Hey guys, we're going into Ulta. I plan on getting the kids um, school records and stuff, but they still haven't sent me half of their records though. I just went to Ulta, so I need some stuff for this trip. This right here, the mini zero face mist. This is what I need right here. Some concealer. This is a concealer. I always go with y'all. Cool found out. I'm gonna get toffee and thong. Um, Alright guys, I'm in Hobby Lobby because one of my subscribers said that they have fall decor and yes, they do. I'm not into the scarecrow stuff, but they do have that here. But yeah, look at the pumpkins. Oh my god, they have rows and rows and rows of pumpkins. I can't even reach the top of those like those gold ones right there look so cute lots of fall stuff right here it smells like a bunch of candles which you guys can see they have a whole bunch of candles and pumpkins oh look at this big old candle yeesh look at this big candle guys garland oh cinnamon sticks i love these things this is giving christmas this is cute I love having potpourri around the house, especially when it's decorated nice. This is really cute. Oh, I need like a modern bowl to put this in. So cute. The big pumpkins are $39.99. These are $10, $9.99. I love their pillows. They're velvet, which y'all know this looks just like my um, dining room table, but I don't like when they have blessed and stuff on it. Ugh, I think that's just so cheesy. Babe doesn't like that at all. He doesn't like live, laugh, love, bless, nothing like that. But I do want to change my mat. This with this or Hello Pumpkin with this or with the rug I already currently have. Um, I'm definitely going to change my front area because I want to make it more seasonal so I'm definitely gonna change that this is so cute I love this color I want like a hint of orange like this is really cute these branches these are really cute I would get these to put in something or these pumpkins I want something really big though <laughs> like I want kind of like a big Reef because the one we have from Target is cute, but it needs some greenery for sure. So I don't know, but these are so cute. Wow, like their fall decor is crazy. Hobby Lobby, y'all. Whoever told me about Hobby Lobby, thank you <laughs> because you were on something, you knew what you were talking about. Y'all, look! Oh my gosh, I'm, I can't scream. Like, I can't scream, but I want to scream. Like, this is the freaking tree that I want. Something tall like this. You guys know our ceilings are like 20 feet, so I want like a super tall Christmas tree. How tall is this one? Okay, yeah, so 60, oh, this one's a $1,000, honey. Somewhere else, Amazon or something. Cheaper, who knows? Maybe it doesn't have to be this tall, but definitely like nine feet or more, definitely. Honestly, guys, this is the kind of Christmas tree I want. Honestly, this is definitely the kind of Christmas tree that I want. Um, snowy spruce tree. Like, look at it. This is so short. It's really short, but oh my gosh. I would love a Christmas tree like this. Y'all, I'm hyped. They got Christmas stuff? Y'all didn't tell me they had Christmas stuff. You told me they had fall stuff, but girl, Christmas? Like, y'all know that's my favorite holiday, too. Oh, here goes the pumpkins that were, oh my god, look at these, y'all. Look at these pumpkins, they look so cute. These look so cute too for living room, and it's lightweight. I like this style versus this style, because I don't want welcome on it. 
these are cute too. Those are cute. I like this one, this one, and this one. They have these pumpkins as well. Really cute. Y'all, I cannot wait. Oh, look at these. Okay, so they're getting into the velvet this year. I know I saw some velvet last year, but baby, they need to keep this coming. They have this color too. Oh, they just need to get black. Get black, get gold, something. But these are velvet pumpkins in a vase. Oh my gosh, so cute. They need to, they need to get the black going. I like the maroon, but I need black. Oh my gosh, the blue for the dining room. Oh my gosh, I'm going to, I would put this here. I would put this here. I feel like I should get it just because they might run out, right? Like, who's to say they're not going to run out? Huh? Huh? Who's to say they're not going to run out? I got to go. They're $6.99 a piece. I got to get them. I got to. For the dining room, I got to. These might be sold out. Don't judge. Here's a closer look at their rugs. I like that happy Hello Pumpkin one. That's really cute. It has a hint of orange in it. I want that for fall time. I'm thankful. Real cute. Y'all, they done started Christmas balls. They done started the Christmas balls. This is so cute. They have them on this side too. They gonna make me spend all my money. They don't have all these balls and stuff. They gonna make me spend all. Why? Why do they have this? So I can spend all my money. But yeah, they're filling up the shelves as y'all can see. Hobby Lobby ain't playing with the girls, okay? They is not playing. These are so cute. I could definitely get some of these. I picture myself getting some of these. Oh, and these ones too, so cute. Ooh, the black is calling my name, y'all. The black, the black, the black, the black. Oh my gosh, the black is calling my name. Look at the green. Oh my gosh, look at the green. The, the green is so cute. It's definitely different. Definitely different than what I see normally. So that is so cute. Oh, the bows. I want one of these on my door for sure. I want a big one though on the door um, for Christmas time. And this by the fireplace for sure. I want this laying on the fireplace. 100%. Where is it going, honey? Big old Reese, where are they putting this at? Who buying this and where y'all putting it at? Let me know, because I'm confused. It's nice, but I don't know where you're going to put it at. It's real nice, though. Y'all, they're going to make me go crazy up in here. Like, they really are going to turn me into the cycle that I'm trying not to be around the holidays. Like, they're going to make me go crazy. Like, I'm already buying this stuff. Happy Lobby, y'all gonna make me go crazy and spend all my money. I'm gonna cry too. Oh, where am I putting this at? Where am I putting this at? Thank you, Brittany. Where can you put this at? $7.99? It doesn't smell like anything though. Dang, I wonder if they had $7.99. That's a good deal, but I wish. Oh, if you guys are into pink, they have these. So cute. Oh my goodness, look at this one. These are velvet pumpkins with the gray. I gotta get these, y'all. I gotta get these too. I got to, they're only $7.99. Okay, I'm gonna, sorry, I, I just have to. I have to. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm about to do a quick haul for you guys, but I'm gonna end the vlog after I do the haul because I have to go. I need to start editing this vlog and get it up to you guys on Wednesday. Also, I wanna say really quickly, I might not have a Sunday vlog. I'm so, so sorry, but I will still be out of town um, on that day that I normally post a vlog. So, 
I don't know if I'll be able to get you a vlog on Sunday, but don't worry because I will still bring my camera and film for you guys. And when I come back into town, I'll edit the video and get it up to you guys as soon as possible. So yeah, just stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here, Brittany Jackson underscore TV. So you guys can keep up with me um, throughout the week just in case I don't get that vlog to you guys on Sunday, but I'm pretty sure I won't because I just won't be in town. Obviously, you guys know I went to Hobby Lobby. We just left from there and I got a couple of things I could not resist getting. Y'all, Hobby Lobby had me like almost an anxiety attack because I was just thinking like, oh my gosh, I was not expecting, I was not expecting to see so much stuff. Shout out to the person who told me that Hobby Lobby had stuff because girl, I did not know they had that much stuff. Like they have Christmas and Thanksgiving stuff, fall stuff. I was literally getting overwhelmed and I was like, I gotta get out of here. I'm getting hot, I gotta get out of here. There's too much stuff to get. My mind is like going crazy of thinking, thinking about all the stuff that I want. My eyes are getting crossed, trying to look at both aisles. Honey, I had to go, I had to go. I was like, Brady, it is July. <laughs> It is July, calm down. <laughs> so I can't resist really getting a couple of things and I wanna share with you guys what I got. So I saw these velvet um, Robert Stanley Signature Collection Fall Velvet Foam Pumpkin Stems. So they look like this, they're beautiful. I don't care, they're beautiful. You guys know I have the blue, you guys know we have like the blue velvet chairs for our dining room, which I absolutely love. Um, so I got these and then these are like cream color to match. These were $7.99 a piece. I'm sorry, these were $6.99 a piece. I don't know if you can see that, but these were $6.99 a piece and I could not, I could not. I just could not walk by them and pass them up. I will be putting them in our vase. I'm gonna be changing out some of the decor in the dining room and pretty much like all over. Like I'm gonna spruce up our fireplace. I'm gonna get our, when our console table comes in, I'm gonna have nothing but fall decor on there. And when I get our cabinet for our um, dining room, our buffet cabinet, when that comes in, I'm also gonna do like a lot of fall decor on there. But I'm gonna just like start taking out some stuff. So yeah, um, I cannot wait to put these in the vase. Next item I got is still velvet. Um, it kinda is gray. It's giving bluish kind of, but it's like a gray color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Excuse my nails, I'm getting them done before I go out of town. But yeah, you see the pumpkins. They have the pine cones the velvet pumpkins, and I just love how they look. This was $7.99, and I just love how they look. They look so cute. And then the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is not really any decor. It's just some E60, um, E6000 glue, because I needed to glue back our ornament because it broke, and that was very expensive, so yeah, I got that. I went out to Ulta um, really quickly, just to grab some makeup because like I said, we're going out of town and we're going to a wedding. So I unfortunately have to do my makeup. Like I haven't done my makeup in months. So now I have to do my makeup this trip. Um, yeah, because you know, we're gonna be around a lot of family and stuff. So I ended up getting two of these LA Pro Girl concealers. I got the Fawn and Toffee. I think I showed you guys these, but I got the Fawn and Toffee and they look these are the ones I always get, like, you guys trust me, I have a whole Fenty line, but because I don't do my makeup that often, I know exactly what products I like to use, what works for the pictures, the gram, everything, so I don't normally change up my makeup look. So I've been wearing these LA Pro Girl concealers for a minute, so I got these. I showed you guys this, but I got the Florence, the Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist. I love this stuff, like this stuff, is so good like this stuff right here is so good like it makes your face look dewy but not like too over powerful like it's like dripping off the espresso pencil by nyx um it is the only brow pencil i love to use 
I tried everything, Anastasia, everything. This is my go-to. It is the Length and Volume Mascara, and it's the color black, so I got this by e.l.f. So I ended up getting these Neutrogena ones. Um, I like using these, so yeah, I got these makeup wipes. And that's it. That's all I got from Ulta. Very short because, you know, I don't normally wear makeup like that. I got a package in the mail that I wanted to share from you guys, with you guys. I ended up ordering from Shein, which is my first time ordering from them. And I ended up ordering some shades. Um, I lost my other shades from, I lost my black square shades from Jolliola, I think they're called. And I was so mad because I love those shades. So I just ended up ordering a whole bunch of Shein shades. So this pair right here, ooh, I love these. So the first pair I got from Shein is these gray shades. I'm a square type of girl, so I got these gray shades from Shein. They're really cute. Um, oops. More like, mm, these are cute, really, really cute. They're gray and the sides are like silver, chrome. I don't have a price on these, but I will link all the shades that I got below. Ooh, I'm excited about this next pair. Okay, okay, so this next pair may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I'm saving these for like, I don't know. I wanna wear these on vacation when I go to the Bahamas. Like, I need a bathing suit to match these because I am obsessed with these shades. Like, look at them. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they're green. They're like this dark hunter green. The frames are like this gradient um, purple clear. Like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And they're square frame, like I like. Ooh, these are so cute. I love how you can still see my eyes. Ooh, I love how you can still see my eyes, y'all. These are so cute. Baby, I'm taking my hair out. I want a different style, but once I get that different style, these are gonna be so cute. Like, these are gonna be so cute. Once I change my hair up, oh my God, I love these. Like, these are gonna be my favorite, favorite, favorite shades. Like, they're big like I like, square framed, and they're green. Like, what? Oh my God, I love these. All right, and the next pair I got, are these black ones. Um, they're just a simple square frame. I'm sorry with the square frames, but I mean, I love wearing square frame shades. I don't really wear like oval ones like that. Like I have some cat eye ones and stuff, but I don't really wear them. I always go for the square ones. So these are like your simple black framed um, shades, big square framed ones. They're simple. I mean, I like how they're like all blacked out. So yeah, these are just like running errands type of shades. Like when I don't want nobody to be seeing me or I look a mess, I'm wearing these. <laughs> I got five shades in total. So these are my fourth pair, let me see. I feel like, oh, okay, yeah. So I got these, these shades pretty much replaced the ones that I lost in Florida. Something really cute and simple to rock, um, you know? They have like the detail of like, I don't know, this leopard looking, I don't know what it is, but I don't know, I just got these because I don't have, I lost, like I said, my brown shades similar to these, so. Yeah, I like the gradient effect. I like when shades when you can see my eyes a little bit underneath, so. Got these, these are cute. Oh my gosh, I wonder, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these. Oh, I did not know they were like open like that on the side. Okay, so. My last pair is square framed again, but they're lighter green. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these. I don't know if I'm a fan of these or not. I don't know. They're kind of cute, but they're kind of not giving me what I want. I feel like they're too light and I don't go for like light, light frames. I don't know, but that's how it is. like. Five things, um, it's hard for me to get like a five out of five, a three out of three, 10 out of 10. Like, I'm always gonna find one that's off. And this one's the one that's off. That's just fine. I don't know. 
Maybe I'll give these away. I was talking about doing a giveaway. Maybe I'll give these away. Because they could be cute, but maybe not on me. Or maybe I just need a different style. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> All right, guys. So it is currently 5 o'clock. I am going to get ready to get Macy and then start editing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog with me, you know, running errands, school shopping, whatever. This is just a daily vlog of me in my everyday life and not so much too much home decor, but you know what I mean. Stay tuned for my next vlog. Like I said, I am hoping to get it out to you guys a little later than Sunday, but rest assured it will be out for you guys. It will be a travel vlog. So it will be worth watching. So just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that bell below so that you'll be alerted when I do post a video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.